Hey guys. So, I've been reading a lot of threads, watching a lot of videos. Seems to be there's a lot of, lot of confusion out there as far as this. How to position your connecting rod. Okay. And look, I'm going to make this really easy for you, okay? Uh, a lot of people, I've seen other videos, people, they don't really f follow through with their uh, explanations. Uh, kind of iffy, a little washy about what they, uh, about, you know, about what they're talking about. And so I'm going to make this real easy. So what I've done here is this is the bottom side of the engine, of course, and I've numbered these, all right? So right over there is number one, two, three, four five six seven and eight okay of course when you flip it over right side up your number one cylinder is going to be the one on the path front furthest forward on on the passenger side now when you take a look over here you'll see number one piston actually sits a little little bit further forward from number five right here okay that one's going to be just like that now number one if you look here, you'll see on the edge here, you'll see a chamfer, okay? All right, there's a redundancy built into this. Flip it over, and that chamfer is not there. It's a sharper edge. See that? It's more, more so a 90. There's just a 45 groove cut in right here on this side. Okay, here's your, here's your redundancies. Number one, that right there is gonna go against the weight right here. Okay, now look, you'll see that there's a machined edge right here. This chamfer, this chamfer right here, is gonna rest up against that, okay? Number, okay, so there's number one. Number two, when you look at the numbers on the pistons, you, sh you should see those. See how I got them right here? Okay. You should see those on the outside, on the outside of the block. On the inside, toward the center, you should see the notches, okay? So notches should all face toward the inside, okay? So if you flip one of these uh, caps around, flip one of these caps around, you're gonna bind. Now, it should not, be very difficult. I better move this piston before I do that. Hold on a second. It should not be very difficult to turn this motor over. Okay? It should be fairly simple. And so what I do is every time every, every time I install a piston, I torque down the connecting rod. Okay. Yeah. Two torque sequences, all right? Every time I connect one, I give it a few turns, make sure it's not binding, and then I go to the next one. Do that with every one of them. That way you're not trying to figure out which one's binding later on because this did happen to me and I did have one uh, flipped around. I made a mistake, okay? And, and it was actually on number one. So one felt great with just one there. But as soon as I put number five next to it, I couldn't turn it, I could barely turn it. In fact, it wanted to rotate the entire engine stand. And immediately I knew one of the two was wrong because it was the first two that I put in. So I removed number five and I looked at number one again and I saw that the stamping was only on the connecting rod side and I didn't see the stamping here on the cap side. And I immediately I was like, oh shoot, you idiot. So I flipped them around, okay? So another thing you want to do is you want to constantly be wiping these down, make sure that there's no dust and debris sitting on these. You don't, you just want to always, I mean, that's one of the biggest enemies of, of an engine is debris, right? So, so this is what I did with these. All right, I'm going to turn this over so you can kind of see, see what I'm talking about here with my numbering. So when I put this together, Kind of to, just to kind of give you a visual aid. All right. You'll see. I got. So on this side. I got the pistons numbered. 
I got the notch. By the way, the notch should be facing forward on each one of these. Okay, so I've got the notch here. I got the piston on the top side, numbered number one. One on the block here, two, three, four. Okay, so when I'm looking at it, I can see five's in the right hole, six is in the right hole, and then of course I got seven here too, and then I got a few more left to go. All right. That way, no matter what side I'm on, I'm not confused as to like, wait, wait a minute, where am I at? What am I doing? Which one is this? And then I then know that looking at this, I know that number one's in the right spot because I've got it numbered. I know number two is going to go in the right spot. Now, of course, when I looked at number two, let me flip this back around. The reason why I haven't put number two in yet is because I got these back from the machine shop. They pressed them, and of course, everybody makes mistakes. So I'm not mad at them. But when I look at number two, all right, I got the number two, the notches facing forward. Problem is, number two goes right here, and I got the chamfer in the middle facing the other one can't have that okay can't have that it's got to go this way it's got to go that way and the other thing is is that notch that notch has to go toward the center okay and as it's pressed in right now the notch is out and the stamping is on the inside so this rod is wrong it needs to be pressed out and repressed okay so I'll take that to them tomorrow. I'll just get the other seven pushed in tonight. And then I'll, uh, I'll take these to them tomorrow. Let's see, just, just ask them to kindly press this for me real quick while I wait. Because, you know, I'm in the army. And I don't have a whole lot of time to be doing things. Of course, that's why I have a teeny tiny garage. Because uh, it's the garage they gave me. So I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. But it is pretty small because I live on on post. But um, uh, I I have to take leave to build this motor because I just don't have time. So anyway, I hope this answers any questions. If you if you got any more questions, if you if you want to ask questions about something else, just leave a comment in the description below. And I appreciate you watching.